Recently I shared a short video over on Instagram where I showed really quickly a general typical aviation oil system looks like on a piston aircraft, a recip engine. It really kind of saw a lot of uh, positive response. And so I thought, why not just do this as a long form content where I can take my time and just really walk through everything that's in a GA engine's oil system. So that's what we're gonna do today. The most basic of all oil systems needs three things. An oil pump, a filtering mechanism, and an oil reservoir. The bottom half of most general aviation aircraft engines serves as the oil reservoir. This is what is referred to as a wet sump because the reservoir is stored on the engine itself. Older aircraft like radials tend to be dry sumps because the oil itself was stored in a completely separate location and sent to and from the engine. The oil pump of many engines is a gear type pump located inside the accessory case. The gears in this pump are directly driven by the crankshaft and force oil into all the crevices and passages as it routes through the engine. If any debris or contaminants are picked up, they are usually removed in some capacity in the filter. There are two types of filter. A highly effective pleated spin-on filter capable of filtering out trash down to about 40 microns and the less effective screens, which also can get down somewhere around 60 microns. All right, so the Cessna 140 has a filter screen. That's it right there, that little silver uh, component with a what looks like a brass nut on the back end of it. This filters at about 60 microns, and that is the first of the two filters. The other one is on the bottom, and it's uh, the coarse screen. Um, it's a little bit larger of a filtering mechanism before it picks up and goes into the pump itself. For the screen type engines, there are always two screens for filtration. The coarse screen is normally housed in the bottom of the oil sump and is designed for preventing large shavings of metal or trash from entering the oil pump. The pressure screen, which is more fine, is typically located on the back of the accessory housing and it's where the oil temperature is sensed on the Cessna 140. Every aircraft engine will have, at minimum, an oil pressure and oil temperature gauge. The pressure gauge alerts the operators of the health of the system and indirectly the capacity of the oil. The temperature notifies the strain of the oil being used to remove the heat from the cylinder. So that line right there above the dipstick that's kind of coming out of the engine, that is where the oil pressure is sensed on my engine. It's usually somewhere in that general area, and uh, then for me, the screen is right behind it. This lets oil be filtered at a much higher rate to prevent damaging trash from entering the combustion chambers. On some engines like the Cessna 140, an additional oil component referred to as an oil cooler is used. This does exactly what it sounds like. A galley of passages allows for additional airflow to remove heat from the oil as air passes through them. This can be a huge benefit for higher compression engines that run hotter than smaller block engines, especially during the heat of summer. Okay, so here is my oil cooler. You can see where it's mounted right behind the last cylinder here on the left side of this engine. Um, you can also see how air passes through these little cavities right here and then passes through the back side of it right here. And then when it just flows out, it's drawn out the uh, bottom of the cowling down here. Um, oil flows in up here at the top. It's pushed down through to cool off, and then it's taken uh, to the engine from there. Most aircraft engine also include an oil pressure relief valve. This is used to regulate the maximum pressure experienced in the oil system. This prevents damage from critical components in the oil system and acts as a safety mechanism for the engine. This is usually located on the right side of the engine above the last cylinder. If the aircraft has a constant speed propeller, this system adjusts the blade angle using engine oil and the propeller governor. Also, turbocharged engines typically use engine oil to cool the turbine, which generates higher pressure for air going into the cylinders. All right, so I have tried to shoot this about as generic as I can. I know it's some of the specifics on the Cessna 140. I highly recommend if you couldn't do this on your aircraft, pull out the maintenance manual, not just the uh, uh, POH or the AFM, but actually get the maintenance manual out and start tracing it. If you're renting, obviously you need to do this, but if you're an owner, there's no reason you don't know all of this about your aircraft and your engine. And it will make you a better pilot, it'll make you a safer pilot, it'll help you be able to troubleshoot systems and really be able to give a better report to your AMP 
if something goes down or gets wrong on your aircraft. Make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna actually show how you, as an owner operator, can change your own aircraft's engine oil uh, in an upcoming video and part of a series I'm doing on preventative maintenance. Thanks for watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day.